In the Boston Herald, this week there was a piece about some uh, teacher figure, some uh, children's studies teacher uh, was objecting to the posters and insisting they be pulled, pulled down from public spaces. Because of the word porno. <clears throat> because of the word porno, and also she cited, it was a woman, she cited the stick figure drawings as well, because she's like, that's going to draw a child's eye. This is something that never occurred to me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, yeah. It's going to draw a child's eye to it, and then, you know, because they see in essence, a drawing or cartoon, and it's a very basic drawing or cartoon. And so children are going to look at it, and if they're a reading age, they're going to be like, what's porno? And then every parent is like, oh, 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 In Boston, where this article surfaced in the papers in the Boston Herald, I haven't been to Boston in a few months, but I would almost guarantee that somewhere in the outside advertising in Boston is a poster for Saw 5. And the poster for Saw 5, which I don't find objectionable, is an image of the guy who was the Saw killer, who's dead in those movies. His face stretched across a mask that someone else is wearing. So somebody's wearing this dude's face. Yeah. My kid gets to see or has to see two images publicly. The one that is going to unnerve her more is going to be the Saw 5 poster. Yeah. Not the Zack and Mary poster. And remove that. Of those two posters, if my kid was like, can you shine some light on this for me? Can you inform me about this subject? I would much rather explain the concept of porno than the concept of serial Sometimes killers. Sometimes adults like to watch movies about people mutilating themselves and murdering not each even, other. Not, not even the movie. Like Before you d- explain like the movie, you have to explain the concept of serial killer. My, my kid doesn't know what a serial killer is. Yeah, yeah, nine yeah. years old. I hope she never has to know. Of course, one day she'll know, you know, she'll watch the news and be like, oh my God, this exists. But I would hate to have to explain to a child, like, there are other humans that hunt humans. <laughs> And they do it not for their tasty meat or to <laughs> wear their pelt, but for the visceral thrill. Yeah, it, what, they get off on sexual it. Sexual, yes, they, they they kill for pleasure, yeah. and they don't care if you have a family or a mom or a dad or if you're a good girl or a bad girl. They'll, they'll just fucking kill. I would never want to explain that uh, yeah. to my kid. My kid says to me, "What's porno?" I'm like, "It's not for you. It's a grown up thing. Yeah, a grown up movie, an adult movie." And then she'd be like, well, what do you mean? If she kept pushing, I'd be like, look, grown-ups taking their clothes off, so that's not for you. Naked grown-ups. And she'd let it go. And I think every kid at that point lets it go. You know, because kids aren't that interested in nakedness at that age. Yeah. Like, my kid's nine. She's never been like, you know, I want to see some tits or cock or something. You know, like, never shown an interest, <laughs> you know? Um if she did, I'd be like, "Wow, this is <laughs> this is not a good moment." Yeah, for me. I, I, let me get my, Jen. You know, you want to know what a serial killer is? <laughs> <laughs> I'd be much more comfortable at this point explaining the concept of serial killer. But I, I of those two, and I'm not coming down on Saw or the Saw poster. But I, I, if but if they can put up the Saw poster and nobody has a problem with it, I don't understand what problem people could possibly have with stick figure drawings and the word porno. It's ridiculous on any number of levels. It's so... I mean, I live in... I, I, admittedly, I live in a completely different world. And I'm not saying, like, I live in Hollywood. But even when I lived in Jersey, apparently I lived in a completely different world. Because bad words don't offend me. Um, I don't... Yeah. You know, we curse in front of the kid. You know, not on purpose. Where I'm like, look, pick that up, you little cocksucker. But, like, <laughs> if I'm if I'm talking to Jen, or even if I'm talking to the kid, and I'll be like, I don't know, this shit they said, blah, blah, blah. I, I don't... Yeah. And and you know what? In all the years that the kid's been alive and speaking, she's never once said a curse word. Even though you know, I've I've, I've asked her to, and she said shit at my behest, and then has never said it since. Yeah, yeah. Since she was a kid, um, so I don't I, I don't get it. Like maybe maybe it's just me, but the word porno, I'm I'm shocked at how many people are still like put off by that word. Yeah. To me, it's just like, hey man, deal with it. The word porno describes something, and it, it's a descriptive. I'm word. illegal. Yeah. Something what? Legal. Legal, yeah. Yes. I mean, we're not talking about, like, Zach and Miri make a snuff film. We're right. not talking Bingo. about... We're not Bingo. talking about Zach and Miri make... Kill Jews. <laughs> yeah, Zach exactly. and Miri kill Jews. Um, or, <laughs> you know... realize that they're in love. And, yeah, and then somehow over the you know, killing of Moisha, they realize that, like, wow, man, I've always loved you, and perhaps... 
And it's like, I mean, I understand that the person's, but this maybe person's being... If, be, unre- if they're repentant at the end, maybe we get away with it. <laughs> Where they're like, we've learned our lesson and we won't kill any more Jews. Demonizing pornography is, in essence, somewhat demonizing sex. And you're putting a negative notion into a child's head about something that isn't negative. Yeah. Sexuality isn't negative. Having sex isn't negative. And people that have sex on camera for money... That's not negative either. That's their choice. Would I do it? No, I'm fucking morbidly obese. <laughs> but if I was thin, I wouldn't have a problem. And I had a big cock, I would not have a problem with that. <laughs> <laughs> you know, there's a few caveats, but still. But this is what she said by creating a pornography, um, a comedy about pornography, she said, the movie makers are, quote, telling a massive lie about the industry. There's nothing funny about it, she said. It's filled with drug addicts, survivors of childhood sexual abuse, and people who have been repeatedly raped. Now, look, am I going to argue that like there are some people who are in the porn biz who have gone through negative things in their life? Yeah. Absolutely not. There are people in the legitimate movie business who have um, who are drug addicts. I worked with one for fucking years. Yeah. Um, a survivor of childhood sexual abuse, or who people who have been raped. It's like I, that's the world, man. That's not like. That didn't create the porn industry. What created the porn industry was simple, like, human curiosity of, like, I want to see naked people. And then I want to see naked people having sex. Kids aren't into that. Kids are into fucking, like, Transformers and shit like that. Well, it's like Katie Morgan. Katie Morgan, who works in porn, I had one time, recently, when we were in Toronto, I was just like... Um, she enjoyed doing a mainstream flick. She was in Zack and Mary, and I was just like, "If if like you if you took off in the mainstream, you kept getting cast. Would you just quit adult film?" And she said, "I would like to be the one person that does both." And I said, "Really? Why?" At that point, you know, yeah, you can do mainstream film. She's like, "I like fucking." And I was like, "Really?" <laughs> I mean, because like statistically, she shouldn't exist. Yeah. Um, based on all the figures people throw at you about porn, like this woman, it's full of drugs and fucking yeah, yeah, yeah. child abuse yeah. victims and rape and shit. And again, I'm not denying that exists. Yeah. But that exists everywhere yeah. in the world. It's a horrible fucking world, people. Yeah. Um. But I, you know, she was just like, I'm. She's like, look, porn didn't find me. I sought out porn. Like this is just something that I wanted to do got her head on her shoulders firmly you know there are there are people like that in porn who are just like i'm an exhibitionist and i like fucking and i don't like working and this is i mean look i i like i like you i would not do porn Mm -hmm. i i would in a heartbeat if i had your body i would have no problems but you wouldn't you couldn't be click on a website without seeing a kevin smith fuck tape (laughs) if i had your body and i was like look at this look at my look how thin i'm i have i have ribs (laughs) I have a li- and and my cock was big. I wouldn't care. That wouldn't bother me. 